Instagram. Good afternoon, guys. Today I am bringing you a little bit of a different video. It's something that comes up all the time on my social media, on Instagram and on YouTube. Cellulite. How do you get rid of it? Number one, you cannot get rid of cellulite. You can reduce it in appearance, but it's something that is actually just genetic. Some people have it really bad. The majority of people have some kind of cellulite. And then there's a very, very small amount of people who are blessed to not have any cellulite. So don't think there is anything wrong with you for having cellulite. But today I am here to talk about how you can reduce the appearance of cellulite because I get asked about it so, so much. I've done a number of posts on Instagram talking about my cellulite because I feel it is part of a real body. And through interaction with my followers on Instagram, I've gotten a few ideas and suggestions of how I can reduce my cellulite through some very simple practices. The number one thing that you can do that is super simple, that is available to you everywhere, water. Simply stay hydrated. It'll plump out your skin. Not only does it help with your skin, it helps with your cellulite and therefore reduces the appearance of your cellulite. Consuming a healthy, balanced diet can help with the appearance of cellulite. If you're taking in a lot of processed foods, your body is going to have to detoxify and digest this food and sometimes it comes out in the appearance of cellulite on your skin. So try and keep your diet as unprocessed and as healthy as possible and start to see the changes. Now on to two of the main things that I have introduced recently, which is helping reduce the appearance of cellulite on the back of my legs and thighs. Because I lift weights at least four days a week, there is a buildup of lactic acid in the muscle. This can cause a buildup of toxins under the skin. How can you reduce that? Foam rolling. It may be slightly unpleasant, but it can reduce the appearance of cellulite just through working out those areas of tension in the muscle. You can pick up a foam roller from a lot of different places. TK Maxx often have them at very reasonable prices. Or if you're more of an online shopper, just check out eBay and Amazon and you can very simply pick up a foam roller. Now the final thing I am going to talk about today is body brushing or dry brushing. This suggestion came to me from a follower on Instagram and honestly, I'd never really tried it before. Straight away, I went onto Amazon and picked myself up this body brush. As you can see, it has a little handle at the back and this wooden long handle can be taken off where necessary. You can see it is just these dry synthetic brushes. You can get ones with boar hair, but apparently they are a lot harsher on your skin. I have been body brushing for the past two weeks. I do it twice a day. I tend to do it in the shower because it will take off a lot of the surface dead cells because that is what it's there for. It's there to increase the circulation, stimulate the lymph nodes and generally detoxify. By dry brushing your skin, you are giving a negative stimulus to the skin, which has a positive effect. I'm gonna go through my technique for body brushing that I've been doing. It's a full body effect. I body brush once in the morning, followed by a shower, which just washes away all the excess dry dead cells and then at night before I go to bed. You do not want to be too vigorous in those cellulite areas. You keep the same pressure and tension throughout the body. We are not trying to cause excessive damage to the skin. We're simply trying to stimulate the detoxification process. I'm gonna start the tutorial by doing some simple foam rolling to show you how I foam roll. underneath the legs and then just simply rolling back and forward. Now you can move on to individual legs. Focus 
on the bum. And we're going to move on to the T-band section of the leg. And then moving on to the quads. can be quite painful as it pushes the lactic acid and the built up toxins out of the muscle but you need to push through to allow those toxins to build up. I've concentrated on the smaller kind of knobbly bits of the foam roller that was really getting into the areas that I was looking to target. I would normally repeat this for about 10 minutes going over the cycle again, starting with the back of my hamstrings, two legs, individual leg, then moving on to the T-band. So this is your T-band here. Now this area can be quite sore and have a lot of buildup just there in the quad line. And then I tend to finish off with my quad muscle. For smaller muscles like the calves and maybe into the glutes, you can utilize a small pressure ball it's quite easy to find these online but if you can't find one just simply get a squash ball they have the same high pressure and they can target those small little niggly bits of the muscles now moving on to our body brushing so here we have our body brush i'm going to start from the feet and work my way up so for the foot area i'm going to take off the long bar put the brush on my hand and we're literally going to go up towards the heart in sweeping motions. I try to go for about 20 strokes in each area. You'll feel a kind of tingly effect on the skin as it stimulates the circulation and detoxification. And then repeat on the other side. Moving on to this area here, which is my most cellulite prone area. We have the back of the legs into the glutes and I really like to concentrate on this area. So again, brushing in an upward motion towards the heart to stimulate circulation. We go for the front of the quad, followed by the back of the legs. And then I tend to go on the inner part of the quad before moving on to the next leg. And onto the back of the leg. And again, the inner quad. I tend to do the glutes separately and do them in an upward motion as well just to get that extra simulation. Again, I'm doing about 20 strokes per area. And finally, we move on to the upper body. Using the same principles, we have the long handle on the brush to reach those hard to reach areas. We're gonna start at the fingertips and work towards the heart in firm strokes. So brushing towards the heart and make sure to cover all of the body because we have lymph nodes all over our body and you can feel that tingly sensation as the brush goes across the skin. And we even do the armpits because there are loads of lymph nodes in there. We are trying to stimulate the detoxification and circulation throughout the body. We can move on to our back. And then we move on to the chest. Again, working downwards towards the heart. Not forgetting the neck. Dry brushing helps with the production of collagen and elastane in the skin, so it can actually help firm up skin as well, especially if you are losing weight, you're losing inches and you want to tighten in that skin. And then finally, we're moving on to the tummy. Now we're going to go in clockwise motion. This follows the colon around and helps with the detoxification and circulation in the digestive system. That 
is my entire body dry brushed using this handy dry brush with the soft bristles. I picked this up from Amazon. You can probably get it from a lot of the health stores or even a local pharmacy. When it comes to cleaning your dry brush, simply wash it down with soap. Once a month is all it needs and leave it to air dry. I would recommend dry brushing in the bathroom or in the shower, in the bath, because you will obviously lose a lot of dead skin and dead cells and following your body brushing it would be optimum to have a shower just to shower off all those dead cells. I'm gonna go and shower off now and then I will show you the difference in what my skin looks like. So I have just showered off. My skin just feels so soft and plump right now. You won't see results in one act of body brushing, but if you repeat it and are consistent with it, I definitely feel it's gonna make a difference to my body and the way it appears. Body brushing is not purely just for aesthetics. It's not purely just for making your skin look good. It actually helps detoxify, activate your lymph nodes, which all helps in your autoimmune system and fighting off disease. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I have loads of health and fitness related videos. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. I will check in with you guys soon for a progress update and physique update as I am coming to six weeks out from my competition. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to cry. Short to be an asshole